in the previous video, we learned how to create and run a basic Next.js application. Now let's dive deeper into the project's file and folder structure to understand how everything works when we run the application. I've opened the Hello World project in VS Code, and at the root level, we can see four folders and 10 files to begin with. Let's start with the individual files. First, we have package.json, which contains project dependencies and scripts. For dependencies, we have next, react, and react dom, which are the essential packages. And then, depending on what you chose in the CLI prompts, you have TypeScript with types, Tailwind with PostCSS and auto prefixer, and ESLint packages. And for the scripts, we have dev to start the app in development mode build to build the app for production usage, start to start the app production server, and finally, lint to set up Next.js built-in ESLint configuration. A straightforward package.json file with some dependencies and scripts. Next, we have a few configuration files. We have next.config.js for Next.js, tsconfig.json for TypeScript, eslintrc.json for eslint, tailwind.config, and postcss.config for Tailwind CSS. Finally, we have a few files which we aren't really concerned about for this series. They include packagelock.json, which ensures consistent installation of our dependencies, git ignore for version control, the readme file, which contains a few instructions related to running, building, and deploying the application, and next env.d.ts, which contains the TypeScript declarations for Next.js. All right, now let's discuss the different folders. The first one is the .next folder. This folder is generated when we run either the dev or build scripts. It is from this folder that our Next.js application is served. You'll notice that the folder is git ignored, which means we don't need to worry about it during development. The second folder is node modules. This is where all the dependencies of our project are installed. It is generated when you run the npm install command, but in our case, it was created when we executed the dev script which internally installs the dependencies if they're not already present. Like the .next folder, this folder is also git ignored, so we don't need to worry about it. Moving on, we have the public folder. This is an important folder that holds all the static assets to be served, such as images and SVGs. Finally, we have the most important folder for starting our Next.js journey, the source folder. Within the source folder, we have one folder called app, which is the newly introduced app router. We will be working inside this folder for the majority of this course. At the moment, we have four different files. Fave icon, which is the icon you see in the browser tab when you run the application. Global.css, which contains the global styles for the app. Layout.tsx, which is the UI that can be shared across different pages in your application. And finally, page.tsx, which is the unique UI we see on visiting localhost colon 3000 in the browser. It is the file that we modified in the previous video. The page.tsx, JSX, replaces the children prop in layout.tsx to form the complete UI we see in the browser. Of course, we will talk more about these files in the very next section, so don't worry too much right now. To wrap up, let's understand the flow of control when we run this application. When you run the command npm run dev in the terminal, the execution is transferred to layout.tsx. The root layout component is rendered. When we navigate to localhost 3000, the children prop will always refer to the component defined in page.tsx in the app folder. That component is the home component, 
which is then rendered in the browser. That is the control flow from package.json to layout.tsx to page.tsx to the browser when we run our Next.js application. Now you may be curious about how the app folder is responsible for the routing feature in our application. But before we dive into the section on routing, it is important to understand a few important concepts newly introduced in React, which form the foundation of how we write Next.js code. Let's see what they are in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.